Look, but don't touch the golden gallery rule. Tens of millions of dollars worth of art in that frame alone. No wonder this oil masterpiece is well protected from oily fingers. Not this one though. Spot the difference? It's very difficult to do so, almost impossible. The one on the right is a Relievo, a 3D replica where every stroke has been recreated by brand new technology. 19th century art, 21st century style. To make one, it takes about uh, three months in production, so that also gives a little bit of a hint how difficult it is. You can only do it if you have access to the real painting. Uh, so the real painting needs to be scanned, which is of course also, you have to do that with, really handle with care. The Relievos are aimed at two very different markets. First of all, you've got those people who want to physically experience the art. Don't forget, this painting is 124 years old. You cannot touch it. But you can touch this. The idea is that these will appeal to those who want to feel the art, those who are visually impaired, students, people who really want to touch a masterpiece. And then you've got the people who want to own the art. An original like this is worth somewhere in the region of $50 million, and it's not even for sale. The Relievos are not cheap either, though. If you want one of these or one of these, you will need to find around $30,000. However, for those who can afford it, it is probably the nearest they will ever get to owning a genuine article. Great for them, but great for art in general. It's the critics that need convincing. In some way it devalues the originals because why if you could see a great reproduction anywhere in the world for a lot less money maybe, why would you still go to a museum to see the original? Despite the similarities, there is one major difference here. This is not actual oil, this is not paint. No, it's, like a, it's a, a kind of really special, uh, well you describes it best as an, a kind of ink. Which makes it pricey for what you're getting, but also incredibly unique. Only a small number of relievos are being produced. Most will have to settle for a significantly smaller, significantly cheaper print instead. Phil Lavelle, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam.